Paul, thank you. And as we gear up for another round of wet weather, many areas are still flooded or closed from rain earlier this week. Channel 3's Caitlin Chastain spoke with public works representatives to see how they're trying to stay on top of potential danger sites. A spokesperson for the Public Works Department says they're monitoring several areas around the community that already flooded and others that are prone to flooding. They tell me there are ways the community can help too. Just how is this next bit of rainfall going to possibly worsen those already current con really wet conditions. A barricade blocks off the entrance to Stringers Ridge Park in Chattanooga. The park was one of several areas across the city that experienced several issues earlier this week after heavy rains. Because these two rain events are very close together, uh, we are really monitoring and evaluating some of the damage from the first one. Miller says crews are paying extra close attention to these areas as another round of rain moves through, but they're also doing regular maintenance to prepare. We're doing all the things we normally do as far as keeping our eyes on downed trees, uh, clogged stormwater infrastructure, and making sure those are clear, clean and clear of debris so that water can continue to flow. Miller says people in Chattanooga can help too. They're asking everyone to use CHAT 311 to let crews know about backed up storm drains. She also urges everyone to pay attention to detour signs and don't pass barricades. We ask everyone to just be cautious of the signs and the postings and the road closures and trail closures because they're there for their safety. Miller says the public works crews are monitoring these other areas on top of the other work they do every day. They're hoping to better assess storm damage after this round of rain. In the studio, Caitlin Chastain, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. And the Tennessee Emergency Management Agency has opened a cleanup hotline for flood victims. The hotline will help those who need to remove debris or clean up their homes following the flood damage. The hotline will be available 24-7 through March 15th. All of the services are free, but service cannot be guaranteed because of the large number of people who need help. If you'd like to volunteer, there's a link inside the WRCB app.